if this is occurring, 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 uh, well, if this happens while etching, while etching, it might, depending on if there is glue on the other side of this aluminum trace, if not, it might be uh, etched slightly on the back side, which we can't see. But that means that would mean that it is thinner there, and there are quite some some of these dimples. So if that's the case, then uh, that could explain the 0 0.5 ohm difference. Not even sure if this is the case, but what I am going to do is I'm going to try different aluminum tape. I've got several and uh, I know some of them are rated for different uh, temperatures as well. So that might change the thing. Um, yeah, but I'll keep this one because it is still usable. And I think it's a rather good effort. The only thing is I don't have endless Nomex, so... By the way, if you're looking for this kind of paper, it's Nomex 410, I believe. In Now what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna clean it completely. I'll leave it as is. I'll just dry it. By the looks of it, I don't have this uh, weird thing sticking out, so that's good. Could be that I etched it too fast before, or this aluminum foil works better. So that's quite annoying. I still don't know which which of the two is the case, but uh, I am probably going to use this aluminum foil then, just to be sure, uh, and then uh, make sure the temperature is not too high. So what I'm gonna do, I am gonna clean the uh, contact points so I can measure it. So as you can see I uh, cleaned it here and here. Two point two ohms. So it is actually uh, slightly. It slightly went down. That's good. Now let's see. Do we have these? We don't have this stuff standing up. So that's good. I know this foil is 35 micron so the only reason why it's not measuring lower is because it probably didn't make a wide enough trace this could be that it's etched away a little bit or uh, it just didn't scribe it so I'm gonna try and measure this I guess it is again not one millimeter but zero point something probably zero point nine something as before maybe lower then I know this tip is actually not 0 0.5 but 0 0.45 or 0 0.4, something in this region. I'll just measure it and uh, calculate what, what it's supposed to be and then see if it corresponds with this one. First do the outline and I'm gonna do it at a moderate speed because it's not so critical. <laughs> Oh, 
gonna cap it because it's really hot in here and I don't want the tip to dry out. So I got my aluminum foil. I think it is pressure sensitive uh, glue that's on there so And I'm uh, gonna etch it again. So it's gonna etch really slow since uh, it's cooled down a bit. So that's clean, it's just plain water now. So no biting stuff. Move that out of the way. Dry it off. See what it does. Two ohms, still a bit too high. Well, this tiny piece appears to be zero point one ohms, so I'm not sure how calibrated. This thing is for the leads as, as well. So, but two ohms, still a little bit too high, I think. But uh, I am gonna clean this, by the way, and see how it looks. 
but it is still okay. This is what it's gonna be. Maybe next time I uh, compensate a little bit more for maybe it, it's etched away or whatever, you know. Could be anything. Quite cool, eh? Not the, as in the previous attempt, the first attempt. Stuff that comes off. That might be uh, the slower etching, so it doesn't heat up as much. I do need to uh, look better if the aluminum foil is good, without huge scratches and stuff. Because the yeah, because that might be a problem with etching. So I have to find that pristine piece of aluminum, and I'm not. I don't know if the scuffing helps or it it fucks it up more than uh, you know by creating all kinds of. Uh, scratches where potentially um, acid can um, come in or something, I don't know. But this looks... Um, but this is good. Acceptable, I think.